Jagger now. He bought a beautiful Mustang convertible, one of three Mustangs for 65. He's got a tough new kind of action. All of a sudden, his whole life changed. In 1965, Ford Motor Company decided to establish a racing reputation for its new Mustang. It was racing designer Carroll Shelby who was assigned the task of upgrading the 289 factory-powered V8 fastback. Shelby American proceeded to build the GT350, a brutally fast production car that dominated the competition. However, as stout as the 350 was, there were some guys who needed just a little more horsepower for the pony. Today, Linda shows us how one Ford enthusiast stuffed 900 horsepower into a legendary Mustang. Most Mustangs were pretty mild-mannered. The potential for horsepower couldn't be ignored by a lot of well-known hot rodders. It left its mark on hundreds of drag strips and race courses across the country. Mustang Muscles, one of the rarest muscle cars ever, the Boss 429. So hot, it became an outlaw after a production run of only 1,400. One person bought this Boss 429 a couple of years ago. He's taken a brute and made it into a monster, bored and stroked to 526 cubic inches. Ported and polished, a little nitrous injection hidden under the hood, this Boss will spin its wheels in fourth gear at 55. The original put out 375 horses. Warren's built this pony to put out 900 horsepower. And what does Warren do with all this power? Well, if you can believe it, Warren drives his 429 to the office. It's his commuter car. Tell me about the Boss 429, and why was the engine outlawed? Well, the car was basically sold to the public so that so Ford could race this engine at NASCAR. There was very few built, 850 in 69 and 350 in 1970. That was 1,400 altogether. Approximately, yes. Why did they outlaw this car? Politics, government reasons. This is a rare car. Tell me a little bit about its history. Well, this Boss 429 was purchased from the original owner down in San Diego. He bought it for $5,023. The value today is probably between forty and 50000 The car has original, everything is original, paint, interior. It has 50,000 miles on it. We, at that point, took the engine out and from a 429 made it a 537 cubic inch engine with nitrous and many other <laughs> things inside that deliver 900 horsepower, 950 foot-pounds of torque on an engine dyno. Greg, what kind of a man drives a 900 horsepower 429 to work like this? One that enjoys the beauty and the power of life. Quickly turn into some of the hottest 